Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where today I want to pass on some constructive criticism about specifically the weasel. I'm not going to go on a rant about it, that doesn't need to be done, it's already been done before, I've already done that before, so we're going to keep this one constructive. And this is, this video, the reason I'm talking about this now is because this is coming off of the back of the high explosive update that we recently got in Cold War. Um, I am recording this video six days after the HE update was released. I don't know when this video is going to go live, but I'm going to talk about my experience as it is as of this recording. So it's been six days and I've got to say the high explosive update has meant that Era 3, in my opinion, Era 3 has become far more playable than it ever was before. Speaking of the weasel, good night weasel. Era 3 is far more playable now than it has ever been in the last, I want to say, year, more than a year. And the reason for that is that the tanks that we've, the, 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 the overpowered tanks that we've got, we have two of them, we've got the 477 and we've got the Weasel. These two tanks together completely break the gaming experience. But now that we've got high explosive, or that high explosive is more readily available to a lot of tanks in Era 3, it means that the 477 has a counter. And I've had so many games now where I've had a 477 in front of me, two shots of high explosive have gone out, and I've done 600 damage. I've kept a 477 back. They haven't rushed me because suddenly when they take 600 hit points of damage, and you can, you can see it in the players, you can see it in the play as they're in front of you. They're driving forward, you take 600 health, and then they're like, oh, and they stop, and they start going backwards again. So you can see the change in mindset of those people playing the 477. So, Wargaming, you've done a great job of introducing, well, you've done a great job of bringing some balance to the 477, which makes the Era 3 experience far more enjoyable. However... We do still have the problem of the weasel. And the reason the weasel is a problem is because it can do things that no other tank in the game can do. It is incredibly fast. It is incredibly small. It is very difficult to hit. It's very difficult to spot. It is very powerful. And you combine all of those things and you essentially have a vehicle that can do whatever it wants to whomever it wants, whenever it wants, and wherever it wants. It is almost, it has almost unlimited power. And we've all seen games where it takes five or six tanks, two minutes, just to kill a weasel. Because everybody's just running around like headless chickens, just chasing this one red triangle all over the place. It is utter chaos. And I don't think there's anybody out there that enjoys that experience not at least not in my opinion anyway it's not an experience i enjoy at all so i am now going to go over the things that i think will bring the four seven uh, four seven seven ugh, the weasel <laughs> it will bring the weasel in line and into you know you know check it bring it in line with the, the rest of the tanks in era three which will then make era three far more enjoyable to play Okay, so the first thing that I think needs to happen to the weasel is we need to set we need to set our goal. What is it that we're actually aiming for? In my opinion, I think the the role of the weasel should be the same as the role of the M50 Ontos, the premium tank destroyer in era 2. The Ontos is is very powerful it's 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 a six shot auto loader uh it does fire only heat so you might think oh that gun you know era two heat yeah not everything it's cracked up to be but yeah you might have a point but when all six shots from the ontos pen that tank has the ability to absolutely destroy things it it just shreds things and that is fine it's got amazing concealment, it's got an amazing gun, but it is very slow. And that is where the balance for the M50 comes in. Because no one complains about the M50 being broken or breaking the game. 
can't this can't say the same about the weasel. So, in my opinion, what we're aiming for is we're aiming for the weasel to fit the role, the same role that the M50 does in Era 2. So how can we do that? Well, first of all, um, the, the the ram damage of the weasel is, I think, is probably the most absurd thing about it. So let's let's just take a look at this clip here. So I'm in the 490 and I'm running, I think I'm running away from another 490 actually. I see, a we I see this weasel coming straight towards me. He comes over the rise and he plows full speed straight into the front of the 490 and takes almost no damage. This is the first thing that has got to change. This would have killed any other tank in the game. You know, there are... If, if for example, uh, the 107 in Era 1 and the two uh, the 251, they're both light tanks, but if you ram a 107 that's going full speed towards you with the 251, you are going to take it for 1,200, 1,000 damage. That is exactly what should be happening to the weasel. The weasel should get utterly destroyed by anything it rams. That is the first thing that I think needs to be addressed. We really need to address the collision mechanics for this tank because it, at, at the moment it's just one of the it's one of the items on the list that adds to the absurdity of it all. The second thing is I think that the engine power needs to be reduced. Um, and the reason I say that is because the, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't remember the speed of the M50. I think it's something like 50 or 60 kilometers. I'll put it on the screen here. But it is not very quick. And that is the reason why it is not seen as overpowered. Like, yes, you've got amazing concealment. Yes, you've got an incredibly powerful uh, armament. But because you're not lightning quick, you cannot use your incredible concealment to just ru to, to fly in, do 1400 damage, disappear again, loop around where no one can see you and shoot people in the back. You, you just can't do that in the M50 because you will be chased down. You're just not fast enough to have that kind of control and that kind of impact on the battlefield. So if we change the speed of the weasel and we change the collision mechanics, I think we will have a vehicle that is far better placed in Era 3 than the weasel we have now. I don't think the concealment is a problem. We've got other, like I've said, the M50 has the same concealment. I believe it's the same concealment. So we don't have a problem with the concealment, clearly. That's not an issue. We don't have a problem with the firepower because... You know, clearly the M50 can be very, very powerful. So, so can the Weasel. Um, I do think the. I know one thing that people talk about is the module damage from ATGMs. There, um, they are the module damage for ATGMs is very, very high, and being ammo racked by a Weasel at the moment. I, whoops. Um, being ammo racked by the Weasel right now can be very, very frustrating. But I do think that that frustration at the moment is rooted in the vehicle's current configuration. Um, and I personally don't think that... Um, I, I, I think that module damage frustration and being ammo racked... It's not nice to be ammo racked, but I think that would lessen somewhat with the changes that I've proposed so far. So, if we can slow it down, then that would make the vehicle a lot it would make it fit a lot better into the game we can reduce the module damage slightly so it's not popping turrets left right and center and we can fix the ramming uh, the, the 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 physical collisions we can fix that if we can fix all of those things then i think the vehicle would fit into the role that the m50 has it's very well hidden it can be very powerful but once it's spotted that's it it's done. It cannot run away. It cannot escape. Its advantage is it's got this amazing concealment. And the whole point of it having amazing concealment is that is your weapon. That is your advantage. And if you lose that, like with any tank, if you lose the advantage that your tank has got, you're going to die. You're going to get taken out. That is how the game works. And for me, 
I think making these subtle changes would go a long way to fixing the weasel. So, Wargaming, if you're listening, that is what I propose. I know you don't like changing premiums. I know you don't like doing that. But you've done it before. The Armadillo is a good example. That thing was utterly broken. The Weasel is completely broken as well. I think these changes are absolutely necessary. And if these changes were implemented, I think Era 3 would be would go back to being a very, oh. very enjoyable place to play, you know, a part of the game. It'll be very, very enjoyable to play. Because right now, it's gotten slightly better with the 477 HE, you know, changes. But the Weasel is still the most toxic tank in the game. And if I'm honest, um, it still puts me off Era 3. I would really like to enjoy Era 3, but right now I can't say that I do. So if you can make these changes, I for one will be very, very grateful because I put a lot of effort, a lot of time and some money into getting my Era 3 tanks and I just don't play them because the the environment's not fun. So if you could, if you could do this, I for one would be very, very grateful. All right, guys, that is all I've got for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave it a like. If not a dislike, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.